Warning, the following video shows the use of chemicals which can be potentially damaging to your health. Please read all warning labels on your products and wear the appropriate protective gear when working with chemicals. Your discretion is advised. Hey guys, it's Macrobetsu. Today we'll be doing uh, resin casting, specifically clear casting, which is useful for making eyes for fursuits. So what you'll need is, uh, you'll need some gloves, uh, you'll need a mold, uh, these ones are actually paint palettes which I buy at Michael's, uh, these particular ones right here are 3 centimeters. Uh, you'll need your resin. The one I use is Easy Cast Resin. This one uh, I find works best for me personally. Uh, then you'll need some mixing cups and surf sticks. And you'll need to measure equal parts of your hardener and your resin. After you have measured out equal parts of your resin and your hardener, you're going to want to put them into uh, one single container for you to stir. Patience is a virtue. That is very important, uh, especially with the resin casting. Uh, if you are uh, become impatient and you stir it too quickly, you'll end up with millions of microscopic bubbles that you'll never be able to get rid of. Um, so stir this very, very slowly and carefully. That said, if you do not stir it long enough, your resin will most likely not cure correctly. Uh, that said, whenever it is fully stirred, like so, it'll be clear and you'll be able to see the bottom of the cup. Whenever it is, you are ready to pour it into the molds. When pouring your resin into your mold, make sure you do so very slowly. If you are casting large objects, you are actually going to want to only fill your mold halfway up first. Let it set for about 30 seconds, at which point you are going to take a torch, a lighter, and you are going to want to burn the bubbles out. Um, essentially, after 30 seconds, the bubbles will essentially rise to the top. Not all of them, but a small, but a certain amount will. Do this carefully over for about, um, you know, two, three minutes. Essentially, wait 30 seconds, torch it, wait 30 seconds, torch it. That will help you reduce the amount of bubbles as possible. Um, again, with larger casts, you're going to want to fill uh, your mold halfway through, do the, you know, wait 30 seconds, burn out the bubbles, and then pour the remaining amount of your mold in, or uh, resin into your mold. Now that you have all of your resin poured into your mold, you essentially want to babysit for the next half hour or so uh, in order to uh, make sure that no dust or debris falls into it, uh, carefully scraping out any imperfections while the, li while the resin is still in liquid form, and using your torch um, or other heat source in order to um, basically disintegrate any of the surface bubbles. Um, after uh, it has fully cured, which will depend um, on the type of resin that you have, the, the one I'm using easy cast is about 24 to 48 hours. Uh, you will be able to remove it from your mold, and you'll end up with something that looks like this. Uh, now, depending on how patient you were, you'll end up with some bubbles or no bubbles. Um, I shouldn't say no bubbles, you'll always end up with bubbles, just no matter how much. Uh, this particular one, I was relatively impatient, so I have a couple of my microscopic bubbles in here. Um, but that said, uh, it will basically just take practice uh, in order to be able to get the resin to come on nicely over time. Uh, thanks for watching, and look forward to more tutorials. Uh, bye.